I wrote this book about why we need more conflict. And I wrote it um, really for one really focused target audience. When you write a book, they give you a really hard time about, is your target audience really super clear? And in this case, my target audience is really super clear. It's a 47-year-old white female, self-employed. I wrote this book for me <laughs> because I am so conflict averse. I hate conflict. I've hated it all my life. And uh, I, needed, I needed to know why I can't avoid conflict, why it hurts me, and how to do it in a way that still allows me to look myself in the mirror, um, actually allows me to still have friends. And so the book was actually written for me. Um, and I'm glad it, other people seem to like it. <laughs> but what you find is that it's a really great accountability mechanism. When there's something you're terrible at and you write a book about it, then people hold you accountable for doing it. I can't get away with not having healthy conflict now because people are like, didn't you write that book about? So I say it's two books. So it's for people like me who um, avoid conflict at all costs. So most of Canada. If we're right, if we're being honest. So I tell the story about um, all the voices in our head that make us avoid conflict. And most people can relate to having a grandma who would say, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. But if you're in Canada, of course, it was, if you can't say anything nice, just wait till we're in the car. Because we're very <laughs> passive aggressive. Um, so it's partly a book for all of us who don't like conflict. But know that if we don't have conflict, our organizations um, stall out because we don't make the tough business choices. We spread our resources too thinly. Um, we aren't innovative because we avoid the kind of clashes that might spark innovation. Um, we don't mitigate risk because if somebody can't say, here's what I'm worried about in this plan, or here's an assumption that you're making that's not a safe assumption, if we can't do that, then uh, there's lots of risk. So there's lots of reasons that our organizations need us to have conflict. Um, there's reasons our teams need to have conflict because if we, um, if, if workload is uneven, if somebody's being an ass, um, there are things we need to deal with so that we can actually be engaged and trust each other. So if we avoid those issues, it just creates resentment among our, our teammates. So that's a problem. And then for us personally, we're all getting so, um, we're, we're tolerating so much in our work lives that are dragging us down. And so we're seeing incidents of stress going way through the roof, short-term disability. So the Sun Life talk, that's what they really want me to focus on, is just all this stuff that we're letting build up and create more and more drain on our batteries because we aren't working through the other side of tough issues. So that'll be really fun at Sun Life next week. Um, so it, it's really important that we learn. So the, the tagline I've been using is, some things are worth fighting for. <laughs>